In this video, we're going to be walking through an underused feature within Zoho One that I really want to put on everybody's radar. And so we're going to be talking about the unified dashboard where you're able to pull in different pieces of data, different actionable items, all into one environment on the Zoho One homepage. So before I jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. It really does help us out. If it sparks any feedback, questions, or additional video requests, leave those down in the comments section. And if you determine that you want to bring someone like Zanata in to get some help on your Zoho install, just head on over to Zanata.com, click on book a meeting, and we'll be talking about how we can help in no time. Today, I want to go over a really common challenge that people have and one of the ways that Zoho One can help solve it. A lot of businesses, especially smaller businesses, are going to have employees who are essentially cross-functional, meaning that they might do a little bit of work on the sales side of the house, maybe some work on the service side, maybe a little work on the implementation or project side. And one of the challenges is, is that even when you're in Zoho One, which is a unified suite of applications, you still end up with a scenario where you might have an employee who has to check more than one list. So here, if you imagine I'm a cross-functional employee in a pretty normal organization that's using Zoho, I might need to look at data from CRM. Maybe I'm reviewing some deals. I might need to check out tickets that are over inside a Zoho desk. I might also have task work that's, uh, you know, charted out inside of Zoho projects. You know, I've got click messages. I've got really just so many different things coming at me from all of these different angles. And one challenge that people will have is they'll move over to Zoho One, right? And they'll get all of these applications in one environment but you still have some of that issue, right? Because at the end of the day, yeah, the user can log into Zoho One and they can access all these apps, but they are all on different pages with different user interfaces. And you kind of have to navigate around in here to figure out where you're looking to go. So I wanna put this on your radar because a lot of the times when we engage with a new client, they haven't set this up. And it's a really easy thing to do that can actually create a lot of value for your users. When you're on Zoho One, what you may want to consider doing is rather than accessing the applications each directly as their own URL, you can go to Zoho One or one.zoho.com and access them all from within one page. So here we can see inside of Zoho One, I can just open up my CRM, go to deals, and I have the exact same thing, right, as when I'm in the CRM natively. That's going to be the same for Zoho Desk as well as Zoho Projects, right? Where I can just navigate directly to this app and it's that same thing that I'm seeing over here. But what we can also do is on this home page, we can create a dashboard that's going to unify data from these different applications that are all a part of Zoho One. So if I go through, I'm just kind of going through these little tutorials here. We'll call this our, you know, standard dashboard. We can, of course, share this to just me or to everyone in my organization. And then over here on the right, we can essentially pull in data from a ton of different applications, right? Across the collaboration, productivity, the help desk, the sales, the finance, and the marketing suites. And so if we go over here, right, like one of the things that I may want on here is my deals, right? If I'm doing anything on the sales side of the house, I definitely want to be able to know what deals I have that I need to work. So I can go ahead and just drag that right on in. You know, maybe if I go up to the collaboration tab, maybe I want to see any times that I've been mentioned in a click chat, right? So like, you know, at Tyler, we need some help with this, right? I want to surface that for myself really easily. Um, like we're mentioning, you know, projects and desk are two really big ones. I'm actually going to remove this one for now. Um, so like projects and desk, I can add and see, hey, here's all of my tasks. Here's all of my open tickets that I have that I need to actually address. Um, I can also jump in and pull any data from within finance, right? So maybe I need to check in on some open invoices. I can see, hey, I've got this little call out here. We have some overdue invoices. Uh, maybe I also want to bring in cash flow. That looks a little boring in my demo account, so we'll get rid of that. But this core idea is that from all of these different applications, CRM, desk, projects, you have all these different actionable items, right? And so if we can create a nice environment where our team can log into one place and see all of that, we're going to make their life a whole lot easier. Now, right now, as it stands, these widgets are kind of, um, you know, 
locked in, right? Where we can't exactly create custom ones and kind of mess with these things too much. Um, yeah, here we I'll bring in work drive while we're at it just for fun. In the future, we're going to be able to add more and more custom objects into this Zoho One dashboard. So if I were to click save, let's take a look at what this really looks like as a user, right? So now as a user, I can come in, I can actually look at my deals. If I click into one, boom, it's just going to route me directly to that deal inside of CRM, right? Let's say, oh, you know what? I actually need this one file. Boom, click it. Now I'm into work drive. Right. And so from this one unified environment, I can go ahead and actually access any of those actionable items from across the entirety of the Zoho One suite. And then at that point, once I click it, it's going to bring me exactly where I need to go. Right. So we don't need to go around, open up five different tabs, dig through 10 different lists. Right. If we can hone in on those specific things that we actually need to see at the beginning of our day. We can use this Zoho One unified dashboard to easily represent that to our team and ideally save them a lot of time and effort spent hunting around and figuring out what needs to be done within their environment. Now, I will also add, so I've created one dashboard here. You can have more than one and you can share these out selectively to different people, right? So you'll need to make that determination around like, well, which types of things do I want to have here versus there? Um, you know, as well, you can make this one longer. So it's going to actually show you here where your desktop is going to cut off. So you could determine, hey, I want to add some more stuff at the bottom. Or you might determine, you know, just for clarity, I don't want my team to have to scroll. So I'm just going to add some more things to a separate dashboard. And then they can tab over to that more easily without, you know, the, the uncertainty of if there's anything below that scroll. Um, again, some of this stuff does just come right down to preference, right? How would you like to see it? What does your team prefer? Um, and so you'll need to make those determinations as you're setting these up. But again, that takeaway goal here is one of the big benefits of the Zoho One ecosystem is bringing in all of those different departments, all those different applications into one place. And I wanted to make this video about this kind of homepage view because I think a lot of people miss it. Right. I think a lot of people start with CRM, maybe they add on projects later, then they go to Zoho One, but they keep using just these links, right, to go directly to the applications where there is a better way if you do prefer to have everything all on one page. So with that, I think we can wrap up here for today. This video doesn't need to be anything crazy and super long. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows about this and can play around with it. And so if you found this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. If it sparks any questions, feedback, or you know anything at all, really, you can leave those in the comment section below. I would definitely love to hear from you guys. You know What types of elements would you like to put on here? I know that I'm kind of eagerly awaiting the ability to create my own custom views and kind of drop them into this dashboard view. Um, but yeah, what would you guys like to see on this view? Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you next time.